Hey guys, it's the third to the last update for my Pandos Eyeshadows Challenge for 2020. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's begin. Now let's move on with my Colourpop, I Think I Love You. And I have been trying to pan, let's do it. And it's this one, you can see the pan here. I'm, tr I'm going to try to is take a screenshot of my previous um, photo updates because unfortunately my laptop had to be rebooted and all of my files were deleted accidentally and including my pictures for my previous updates so I will try to take a screenshot of my previous videos <coughs> excuse me but if I can I'll just link you to the previous update where you can see all of the pictures from when from when I first rolled this shadow out I first rolled this last on my August update so it's been on my roulette for two months now and i've been able to hit pan on this quite well i think the pan is really like even because i just always use a fluffy brush when i use this so yeah that's it i'm glad that i beat pan on it so now i can roll this out of my quintet and then this is my zoeva coco blend and i was and i have been trying to reach for pure ganache this this month but this has been a very slow month because i haven't been wearing a lot of eyeshadows i also dropped this palette but fortunately the shadow did not break it just um crumb crumbled up a little bit but i was able to just press the shadows back into the pan but yeah still no pan so i'm gonna continue um using this for the next month And then the three remaining shadows from this October quint that comes from my Prism palette from Anastasia. And let's first start with Eternal. In my last update before, I mentioned that I was already very close to Eternal. And after two uses, I was able to hit pan on it. So after three months of being in this project, it is now finally out of my quintet. So you can see the pan here. But I can't say the same for Saturn because I rolled this I rolled Saturn together with Eternal at the same time. Last July update. And still no pan. I have dipped the dip a little bit in the center because I've been using a very uh, small pencil brush. So the pan so the dip is a little bit more focused rather than like a wide dip com when I'm using a fluffy brush. Overall, October has been a slow month for me in terms of wearing eyeshadow because my eyes were swollen um, during the first, during the last week of September until the mid uh, second week of October. My eyes were really swollen and I didn't, I don't know what was re what was the cost. And then later on it went back, it went away. And then, and then when my eyes were okay again, I started wearing makeup again. And the first thing that I wore was Saturn all over the all over the eyelids and then after a few days again I started I started having swollen eyes again but at the same time I also ate another a purple yam so I'm not sure what's causing me what's causing the uh what's causing my eyes to become irritated or to become swollen because I've been wearing Saturn already before so I and I haven't had any like problems. The only change that I used was that I applied Saturn all over my lids rather than just the usual putting it on my waterline or on close to my lashes. So so I'm not sure if it's because of Saturn because I've been wearing it previously or perhaps the quality has gone bad. But, but then at the same time, I also ate a purple yam when my eyes were swollen. So I'm not sure if it's because of the purple yam but because i I've been eating purple yam ever since and I haven't had any like reactions whatsoever so I'm not really sure what was causing the swollenness on my eye but basically most of October my I couldn't wear eyeshadow because I I had irritated eyes. So that also contributed as to why my as to why Saturn hasn't really had a lot of progress but at the same time I just am super slow with using up my eyeshadow so uh, yeah, Saturn will again be on my next quintet and this is now for the fourth month. 
usually I'd, ro I'd roll this out already but you're already at the end of the year so I might as well just use Saturn until the end of the year or until I hit pan on it so so I'm gonna keep using um, Saturn so this is Saturn and then the last one is Sphinx and I, I have a little bit of like usage out of it but still no pan still no dip because uh, because I've been just really focused on eternal during the time during the days where I could wear eyeshadow I just focus on eternal because I didn't have a lot of um, chances to wear eyeshadow and why not and and on those days that I could wear eyeshadow I just focus on eternal because I was really close to hitting man on it so I haven't really been able to wear sphinx or even pure ganache for that matter because of my my eye irritation so i will continue using sphinx for the next update this one so i'm keeping three more eyeshadows for my quintet for november and and because i've hit pan on two shades i'm gonna roll in two other new ones in this quintet for november and for an update, I only now have 11 shadows eligible for this rotation. So the first one will have to be number 9. So number 9 is from my prism and it is parallel. And it's this yummy chocolatey brown shade that I absolutely love. I actually already rolled this in sometime in the middle of this year. But I rolled it out because I wanted to focus on another... Um, brown shade in my quintet so now i'm gonna roll this in again and i still really love the formula it's, i i absolutely love this types of browns those chocolatey neutral rich browns and i wouldn't mind getting a whole palette centered around browns that are like um parallel and sphinx i just absolutely love chocolatey browns and bronzes so this is parallel and then the next one will be number seven. Seven is from my Going Coconuts and it's Colada. It's this one. This one, I don't know what to feel about this shade because it looks it looks really neutral in the palette, but on my skin it looks a little bit muddy because even it is a cool tone brown, but it has it also has like a they call this it has like a mauve undertone that's really prevalent around coco a uh, uh, around um color pop shadows and i don't like mauves on my skin tone it just clashes with my skin color and also colada itself the formula itself it's very stiff like i have been using colada the same the same amount as the other mattes in this palette but still no dip need still no dip whatsoever on colada because the formula is just really stiff like and i need to really dig my fingers in there to just really get a little bit of like pigment it's really not my favorite color but we will see how much progress i'll be able to use from colada and colada it's this one it's it's okay it's okay i guess it will like um contrast with the warmth of my shimmers I mean, it's a good color, but it's just not really my favorite. And also the formula is not my favorite as well. So this is my quintet for October. It is obviously less warm than my previous quintet, but still, I'll I'll still get the same like warm, warm look on my eyes as usual. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if I wasn't, if I haven't been able to show you guys the progress, I'll just link the, the previous update where you can see the individual pictures of each shadow but that's gonna end this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you on my next video bye guys